Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligenla. In this lesson, you will learn how to enable anonymous access in SharePoint 2013. So, to enable anonymous access for your site, first you need to enable at web application level. And once we enable anonymous access at web application level, then you will be able to enable anonymous access at site level given at least our library level so first we'll take this small case study where you want to allow anonymous users to register for the trainings which are happening in the organization so let's go ahead and do it at web application level first okay this is our central administration site where you click on manage web applications under application management section so select one of the web application which you want to enable anonymous access okay in this case I'm going to select sharepointjourney.com you can see here the options has been enabled at ribbon and select authentication provider option out of those and click on default zone and here you need to enable anonymous access checkbox scroll down and click on save okay so now we have enabled anonymous access for this web application to verify it click on the default zone again to see whether that checkbox is checked yes it has been checked now close this even close the web application and open this site so this is our training registration list where we will be enabling anonymous access for the users to add the registrations or even to view the registrations which they have done okay so far we have enabled anonymous access at web application level so let's do it at site level so what are the options we have go to site settings option and click on site permissions you can see here you have anonymous access option under the permissions click on that so here you have three options you can enable at website level or listen libraries level okay or nothing in our case a training registrations is a list so we will enable only a list and library section instead of the entire website so I'll choose list and libraries and click OK so once I click OK the anonymous access will be enabled for all the lists and libraries in this particular site you can see here under permissions this section this has been added and where the permission levels are lists and libraries now let's go back to the training registration list and go to the list list settings and click on permissions for this list so you can see here you don't have anonymous access by default and this list is inheriting the permissions from the parent now I need to break the permissions so that I can provide a unique access for this particular training registration list so let's stop inheriting the permissions from parent site click OK now once I stop the permissions we'll be able to see anonymous access option so click on that you can see here you have four options either you can give anonymous users to add an items edit items delete items view items so in our case they need to register for the training courses so I'll say add items and click OK so here you can see anonymous users can add an items or view an items so for this list now we have logged in with system account let's go ahead and sign out and close this browser open the browser again open the training registration list 
now you can see here you haven't signed in but you are able to access the registration list only if you go back to the site you will not be able to okay so only the training registration list only you will be able to access it or uh, anonymous user see here it will ask for the credentials if I want to go back to the root site okay let's cancel it and open the list again okay, it's opening the list you are anonymous user click the new item option to add a new item or go to the ribbon and the item section you can click on new item from here as well let's quickly add a new registration email id app development training number something expectation is good uh, facility okay click save let's click done save now I'm able to add an item to this list even though I haven't accessed and even I can see the item details if I go to the menu I can view the item what are the details are there in that particular list okay but I don't have option to delete an item you can check here I can't delete even I can't edit because I am anonymous user and I don't have these permissions which has been enabled at this particular list okay so far we have seen how to enable anonymous access for the users to add item or a view to view an item Thank you for your time, we'll see you next lesson.